Campus. And today we're gonna show you how to disassemble, assemble, naming the parts and functions of a computer system unit. Alright guys, let's do this! Step 1. Make sure the system unit is turned off. Step 2. Unplug or remove all cables connected to the system unit. Wear anti-static wrist strap or discharge yourself by holding any metal objects for 5 minutes. Connect anti-static wrist strap to the chassis and tighten or remove the screws of the side cover of the system case. Disconnect or remove all the cables connected to all components inside the system unit. Remove the ODD and see the room. Remove the HDD and tighten the screws mounted to the case. Then carefully remove the HDD. Remove the PSU. Remove the motherboard and tighten the screws mounted to the case. Then carefully remove the motherboard. Unmount and unplug all the parts along the motherboard, including CPU, CPU heatsink pan, RAM, and video card. After disassembling, these are the steps in assembling a system unit. Step 1. Mount all the parts along the motherboard, including CPU, CPU heatsink pan, RAM, and video card. Step 2. Install the motherboard. Tighten the screws mounted to the case. Step 3. Install the PSC. Step 4. Install the ODD and CD ROM. Step 5. Carefully install the HDD. Tighten the screws mounted to the case. Step 6. Connect all the cables to all components inside the system unit. Step 7. Put the side cover back and tighten the screws. Step 8. Connect all the cables to the system unit. Step 9. 
Step 9. Test the system unit if it's working well. CPU. The CPU or the Central Processing Unit is the brain of the computer and one of the most important chip in the computer. Heat Sink and CPU Fan stands for Heat Sink and Fan. Nearly all computers have heat sinks which help to keep the CPU cool and prevent it from overheating. RAM, Random Access Memory, is a piece of hardware that allows stored data to be accessed randomly. Its main function is to store data temporarily. Video card. Video card is commonly known as graphics accelerator card. This is a hardware component whose main function is to generate and display the output images to a computer monitor. Motherboard. A motherboard connects and transmits signals to and from peripherals, like your keyboard, mouse, and monitor. The same can be said for components such as CPU, GPU, RAM, and other. PSU or power supply unit. Converts main AC to low voltage regulated DC power for the internal components of a computer. Hard disk drive or HDD. Hard disk drive is also known as hard drive. This is the computer main storage device used to store all data on the computer permanently. CD-ROM is a device that uses photodiodes to detect reflecting lights on optic disk and uses a laser to read or write data. IDE and SATA connector or storage device connectors. IDE or Integrated Drive Electronics. It's used to hook up these drives, floppy disks, and HDDs. This is a 40 pin male connector that connects the HDD. Now, the SATA connector or serial advanced technology attachment is the standard connector with a 7 pin interface. Chassis or system unit case. The computer case serves mainly as a way to physically mount and contain all the actual components inside the computer, like motherboard, hard drive, optical drive, floppy disk drive, and etc.